Hello everyone and welcome to a review of the eClaim system. My name is Dominic with Passport One and Family Service Toronto. And just before we get started here, I do want to share that there is a, if you're watching this live, there is a question and answer period at the end of today's session. So feel free to write in your comments or questions into the chat feature on the WebEx and I'll be sure to read them and answer them at the end of the presentation. Alternately, you can also uh, unmute your microphone at the end and ask a question or comment. So the eClaim system is designed to allow you to electronically submit your claims to Passport One in a few simple steps. The first being you can download a PDF of your eClaim form. And then the second step is uploading that eClaim form or submitting that eClaim form with all required receipts and invoices to Passport One. After you submit your eClaim to Passport One, you'll also be able to check the status of your claim um, on the eClaim system. So in today's session, we're going to be going over everything from registering for the eClaim system all the way through to checking the status of your claim. The first session here is going to be uh, registering for the eClaim system. And you'll see here there's two ways to register. The first is, are you a passport client and managing your own funding? Or are you a person managing funds of a passport client, possibly a parent or a caregiver or a guardian? So in terms of today's session, all we're going to go over uh, and registering as a person managing funds of a passport client. So the first thing I'll need to do is make sure that this bubble is selected and then enter my name, my first and last name as the person managing funds. It's really important that you use the same name that you provided to your local passport agency as the person managing funds. A common error we're seeing is that people are trying to use maybe a middle name here where they didn't provide a middle name to their passport agency and the system's not verifying that information. So again, it's really important that you use the same name that you provided to your local passport agency. Once you entered your person managing funds name, you can enter the client code and the client name of the person who's receiving passport funding and then read and accept the terms and conditions. Once I've entered all of this information, I can click verify. And as long as that information matches what your local passport agency has, it'll bring you to the registration page. It'll ask you to enter your login email address, which will end up being your login name. And then create a password and uh, confirm your password or the eClaim system. Your password will need to be at least eight characters long, contain at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter one number, and one symbol or special character. So once I've entered my login email here and created and confirmed my password, I'll again make sure that I've accepted the terms and conditions and click register. Now I've been doing a couple of training sessions, so I can't register every time, but I do wanna show you what it looks like when you click register on the site. So once you click register after creating and confirming your uh, password, you'll get this message here, which says almost done and that a verification email has been sent to whichever email address you provided on the system. It's really important here that you check your inbox. And if it's not in your inbox, uh, please check your junk and spam folders, because sometimes what we're noticing is that instead of going to your inbox, your email provider marks it as unsafe, even though it's completely safe um, and throws it into your junk or your spam folder. So please check all of your folders because the email was certainly sent. Uh, it's just a matter of where that is on your system. In most cases, it'll end up in your regular inbox. And that email will look something like this. It'll thank you for registering with the eClaim system. And it'll ask you to activate and verify your account. So the first thing you can do is select here uh, to activate your account. If this isn't working for you, you can copy and paste this link into a browser and it'll activate your account for you. So one or the other, whichever works best for you. And once you activate your account, it will bring you to this page here, to your login page. And, and you can log in here using your email address and the password that you just created. 